Hello, hello everyone, and welcome! Today we have a speed build, and this is what we're building. Ooh, something with brick. Uh, so, it is actually a shell challenge. So look at this, I already have a shell to work with. So this is the easy shell that the Absurd Koala put together to celebrate hitting 50 followers on Twitch, and being able to be an affiliate if she so chooses i don't think she's actually so chosen at the moment but she does so choose <laughs> she can uh so yeah so she did these fabulous shell challenges so this is the first of two that i did so she did an easy shell and then she did a more complex shell as well and i did both of them and they were, ended up being quite different looks uh okay not probably surprising because they were quite different shells <laughs> So this is what I'm sort of putting together. So the, the thing with shell challenges is this is why I really like them is the challenge of actually manipulating a house to look I guess different uh, from the shape that you're given without actually being able to change the shape that you were given. Because what the big thing with shell challenges is you can't uh, you can't change the external walls. So you're gonna keep the external walls as is. So that's what I've done. And what I'm doing is creating shape through uh, the balconies and porches and things like that and through the roof as well. So that's how I'm sort of creating the different shapes. And then I'm just throwing in a little bit of landscaping just to get an idea of where that's all going and how much space I've got. I did build this on a 30 by 20 lot. I didn't want to go too enormous on it. I actually go a lot bigger on the other shell because it's actually already quite a big shell because it is three floors high. So it is, yeah, it was actually quite interior. And in the interior, it was quite a lot to decorate and bring together because it's a bigger shell than, than it kind of looks. <laughs> I think it's quite roomy so uh, yeah but it was a lot of fun to put together and try and work out how I was gonna make it all sort of work now I did decide that I wanted to do a modern or a contemporary style build um, something more suburban so it's something that you might see in the suburbs and yeah that's kind of the idea that I had in my head going into it I, I think with a shell it's just sort of you look at the shell and then you kind of let your, I don't know, your feelings sort of go, your imagination, you, you put your energy out into the universe and you pick up the vibes of what the house is kind of sp speaking to you as. And yeah, um, there should be, oh, I, I lost track of what I was saying. But anyway, put your... <laughs> I saw a message on my phone. I was like, I completely lost track of what I was saying. But anyway, yeah, you put your sort of your, you know, your feelers out and you kind of stare at the shell and you're like, hmm, how is this speaking to me? What can I sort of see myself doing with this shape? And I saw myself doing with a shape uh, a suburban home, <laughs> a suburban contemporary sort of modern home. I am at the moment just fiddling around with the roof, just trying to decide what I'm going to do with that space. But I actually ended up deciding that I wanted to do a balcony up there. I actually do a few little balconies. Um, not all of them are super big. So there's, I think there's one balcony out the side that is just like a little one spacer. So I didn't do anything else with that beyond just giving it space to be used. And I'm using... Oh, what pack is that from? Is it Get Together? I don't know. I can't remember what pack that, sh uh, that fencing's from, but it's one of my favourite fences. Maybe it's base game. I feel like it's a base game fence. Oh, well. Anyway, I love that fencing. <laughs> I can never remember what the packs are, are from. So, uh, then we have a bit more of the landscaping. So, I did sort of envision it's... Where did I build this? I think I built it in Willow Creek or Newcrest. One of the two. I think it's actually Newcrest. And so I sort of thought like a green, full kind of garden, if you know what I mean. It's like quite abundant, but contained at the same time. So it's not like overgrown, but it is sort of lively in there. And I just brought in a little bit of yellow with the flowers. I just wanted to keep it sort of pretty consistent with the with the colors and not go crazy or sort of wild flowery that wasn't really the vibe i was going for i was sort of going more for something that is sort of stylized in a way but not so formal 
that it's um, only a sort of a few plants. So it's a little bit more abundant in style, but, but also stylized at the same time, if that makes sense. So that was the sort of the vibe I was going for with that. And I think we're just about done on the outside. Oh, no, actually, no, we're not. Because we're still going to decorate all the porches that I made and like the pool area and stuff. <laughs> so oh uh, yeah so there is like a little bit left to do I'm um, but as far as the landscaping goes I think we're just about done oh no we're not because I decided at that point in time that I was going to put in a driveway and a carport so <laughs> so I actually hadn't planned on that but then I was just kind of building away I was like oh you know what? I've got a whole lot of space out the front so let's just turn that into a carport and fill that space and it kind of you know that's still really captures that modern suburban kind of a vibe because you know you're sort of parked up you got your car there and blah 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 so just reshaping it i thought that was a little bit too big so i wanted to go a tiny bit smaller because it is right at the front and i didn't want to have you know a big hunking thing sort of blocking things off at the front and you know they've got their really nice porch behind there so i didn't really want to super block that off as well so yeah just creating like a little open carport. I didn't want to do a garage because I thought that would be a little bit too chunky on such a small lot. But I thought at least by having it open, it's not too, yeah, not too big and chunky and covering it all in. So that meant I just needed to fix up the landscaping around the bottom of the carport. So I'm just doing that now. Just adding some more bushes in and bits and pieces in and getting that all done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So uh, that's about done, just getting the roof colour. So I'm doing a, a dark black steel. Dark black. <laughs> oh, dark black. I mean, is there anything darker than black? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> redundant statement there from me. Oh boy. Uh, I actually, at this point, I still didn't know what colour walls I was going to do. I left. I left the walls pretty late on the outside because I really didn't have any idea as to what I was going to do. I was just kind of feeling it out and I think it wasn't until I really I saw how the windows looked and I decided to go overboard on the windows by the way. But I think it looks good. <laughs> Never have too many windows. Um, yeah, until I saw the windows and how that looked, I actually really, I was initially going to do white but then I thought, you know what? that actually might look really good with a brick so i tried that and uh, you'll see that coming through soon and you know what it looked good and i'm using my favorite brick i can't help myself because it's the best brick it's the city living brick and it's the bestest of the bricks because i love how it's got like that brown shade to it it's not like a super ready red brick and i don't know it's just a really nice brick it appeals to me and if i'm going to use a brick <laughs> it's really hard for me not to use that particular brick because I really like it so I'm just going to work on the exterior uh, decoration now so it's going to be all the porches and stuff and I didn't go overboard with that just a bit of seating uh, barbecue area pool area and that's about it really oh and there's a garden area up the top as well because up the top the top floor um, is actually just a fully kitted out hobby room so it's got little uh i mean it's not super super like it has got every single hobby in the book but it's got like a couple of couple of hobby things up there and uh, a bit of space for sitting around by the fire and enjoying some enjoying life you know and it's like outside there's like a little garden area so i created a garden area up on the top uh up on the top floor as well so yeah that was quite cool so it is actually only a two bedroom three bathroom three or four bathrooms and two bedrooms so it's not actually the heaps and heaps of bedrooms but that's because I left the, the whole top floor is just like basically a hobby slash study study area so I didn't put any bedroom up the top I just did all the bedrooms on the second floor I think from memory I'm pretty sure that's what I did so I'm using the patio stuff pack chairs uh now don't ask me what coffee table I, I used i think it was something a little bit different something i want to say fitness stuff pack maybe it was it was not one that i often use a coffee table that i or i'm sorry an end table that i often use so i can't can't quite remember which one it was but 
yeah it was something yeah something a little different for me which was yeah, quite cool so just putting the pool together i've done the lights i skipped over that and uh using get together i'm using a bit more lighting around the place uh skipped over that a bit as well and then you can see my garden area up here so this is start going to start to come together i'm just using a few little pots and i'm using a uh, part of the and this uh, the freestanding no i didn't use the freestanding stuff but i did use the greenhouse haven bits and pieces so like all the garden table and the pots and i use all that for the for the decoration just to add oh yeah that little bit of sense of realism and like this is a cute little garden area and stuff that's kind of the idea and i wanted to bring that to life with a bit of clutter as you do and that's what clutter's for is just to bring is to bring the vibe and the concept to to life so you can sort of get a really clear image of what the room is about just by looking at it and I think that's what part, of, you know, a big part of what clutter does, is just bring that little sense of realism or what the what the build is to the to the build. So I'm doing a little bit more of the exterior area. I just realised that I hadn't put in <laughs> the pool chairs, the pool lounges. Oh, I was fussing around with those for ages. I kind of had this idea of doing like this um, towel rack that didn't work out, and then I sort of had this idea of an outdoor shower. Didn't really have the room for that, and that didn't work either. So anyway, none of it went in there. <laughs> I fuss, like was fussing around for ages doing that, and then it all got deleted because I didn't like it. <laughs> So that's the outside done. So I'm just working on the stairs and where they're going to go on the uh, on the interior. Always a fun job, you know, just trying to work that out. <laughs> but I got there in the end, so sort of got them going up to the third floor. And I'm actually going to start by working on the hobby area at the top. Once I get up there and... I, oh, just working on the floor layout. So on the on the top floor, as I said, that's just all one one room, and it's a hobby room. This is the second floor, so that's two bedrooms at the end, and then you've got two bathrooms in there. So I'm just uh, making the bathrooms a smidge bigger. So that's all there is on there, plus a little lounge area, and then on the bottom floor. What do I do on the bottom floor? I can't remember. I think oh yeah so that's going to be a big bathroom down the bottom and then it's all sort of open living down there so yeah one one bathroom on the bottom floor two bathrooms on the second floor two bedrooms on the second floor and hobby room on the third floor and I'm doing all the brick on the inside because I'm just sort of keeping uh, that sort of I don't know like a contemporary suburban industrial <laughs> look as, as that's the look I was going for and I really like brick on the inside. I think that's really cool. Uh, so, yeah. And it works really nicely with the Greenhouse Haven windows as well. I think that's a really cool look. So I'm just working on the hobby room. As I said, that I work on that room first. I don't know why I started there. Um, yeah, I just, I, it's just the room that I, I, that spoke to me first. That's all I can say. <laughs> ah, dear. But I, I just wanted to have this like as a, as a nice little study and I, I actually initially wasn't going to put a fire in, but I don't know, as the room progressed, that's just the way it all went, I guess. Uh, just adding that fire and oh and I did want to like an arty corner so I'm just doing some art on the wall so you can sort of see I think that's locked items or debug items uh, I, I know the the sketchy stuff is locked uh, but I'm not sure about that little picture I think that might be debug and then I'm using debug apples and a little just an end table from growing together just as you know kind of like your this is the thing that I'm drawing kind of that was the, the, the idea of it it's like this is the medium that I'm drawing or the thing that I'm drawing and yeah that's what they're sketching from I don't know <laughs> oh yeah because I initially put in a radiator then I was thinking about heat and I was thinking oh fire why don't I put a fire in there so I did actually put a chimney on the top I just didn't show you guys me fussing around with a with a chimney and then I did like a um, little slate floor and backing to that fire as well because I thought that looked really nice and safety because obviously putting a fire on a wood floor is not ideal 
and then I needed something in bits in beside there and I thought well a bookcase because obviously it's like a little warm study slash art studio slash hobby room I mean you could easily just replace the easel or move the easel and put something else down that end as well so if you wanted to download it and add your own sort of touches to the hobby room I mean, obviously you can easy peasy so I just adding in the doors and I just went with one of the base game doors so this is a little living area out here so it's kind of like there's a downstairs living room and then there's an upstairs living room so it's kind of like the private sort of family living room and then downstairs is more of your sort of public entertaining kind of living room if that makes sense but I mean there's just a sort of a game table and there's a few couches and that's about it to the to the upstairs living room I mean, there's not much else you really need up there oh and a table and uh not a table a uh, tv <laughs> I think I put a TV in there. Do I? Oh, no, I don't. I just kept it really simple up there. Family time. So then we move on to the bathroom. So just bring the blinds in there. And I know those blinds aren't everybody's favorite blinds, but I like those blinds. And I don't know why, because they're just blinds, but I actually, I like them. So I use them. And I went with a simple black tile in the bathroom because I thought that looked really, uh, effective with the colors that we have the color palette that I'm using in the house so this is the first ensuite and I'm just using the triangle bath I think that's from fitness from the fitness stuff pack and just getting some stuff on the wall as well so you'll see me I'm gonna decorate that up a little bit just using the old trusty drag from the box trick so getting things in there oh yeah <laughs> it kept on clipping to the bath and I was just like stop it stop sucking me in bath <laughs> <laughs> but I mean with the bathroom clutter kit I love that kit by the way I mean there's just so many like good little bits and pieces that you can put on the wall so it's actually really good so I just put little bits and pieces of clutter on the shelf and then I did another um it's eco lifestyle I think shelf hanging shelf with the loofah and stuff like that and that left me with the uh blah 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 blah, blah sinks because I've already got the toilet and we've got a bath in there as well. And I just went with the Grown Together set because that's pretty. And I liked that the it had that coppery look to it, which worked colour-wise really nicely with the bathroom. And I'm just using little spa day wooden slats in front of the bath and the I uh, sorry, in front of the sinks, and then I use an actual mat in front of the front of the bath. And I used the uh, bathroom clutter toilet mat as well so this is the second bathroom so I just made this quite different it was actually a different size to the other on uh, sort of the other bathroom on the second floor so I mean I, I'm calling them en suites but they're not actually directly next I don't think are they directly next to the oh yeah no they are they are directly next to the bedrooms okay scrap that so uh, yeah they are different sizes like there's one that is slightly larger and one that is slightly smaller so I did actually make them quite different from each other not in terms of color but in terms of layout so that they have different bars and uh, different bits, bits and pieces of furniture and uh, clutter and stuff in there so they are different but similar enough that you know you kind of get that vibe oh yeah and I realized I forgot the towels it's like whoopsie so then moving on to the first of the two bedrooms and as you can see I'm using the modern luxe bed I love that bed it is pretty and I am going pretty dark as far as the furnishings go but I like that so sometimes I am pretty drawn to just doing like black and white and one other color quite often like browns or blues or whatever but yeah I do love I do love a nice dark combo and I think that works really nicely with that sort of industrial-ish vibe um, with pops of the, the the white which you can see there in the floor mat and I'm just building a little wardrobe so using the dream home decorator wardrobe with the hanging and the drawers underneath and I'm sure I put yeah I was gonna say I'm gonna put some shoes there surely I'll put some shoes I think I'm gonna put like a little chair in the corner matching chair of course just make it and I, I you know one thing I really like about these colors as well is like the green so when you're using plants and stuff it pops out so nicely against the against the walls or the house or, or whatever um, the colors just you know the green just works so nicely with that I'm just creating a little custom bookshelf because there I didn't like my options otherwise <laughs> 
<laughs> that's essentially it and i wanted to um get like a little bit of uh, pieces of clutter on there as well so just doing my own little thing basically i was having this dream last night that i was making making shelving oh in the sims i was just dreaming about building shelves on the sims i can't really remember a lot of it but i just remember remember i was just building shelf after shelf after shelf after shelf oh it never ended just so many shelves so i'm doing a slightly different color in the second bedroom so we're going a little bit on uh kind of the opposite we're going more white because we went dark in, in the, uh, the other bedroom and i thought well we'll kind of go the opposite way in the other in this bedroom here just to mix it up a little bit and nothing wrong with that i mean you think about what we did in the hobby room that was lighter as well so it's quite cool to just to do something a little different um as we go through the house just keeping it on the theme though i have trying to find me, me trying to find a mirror that worked. Uh, and uh, i think i saw this on another shell challenge that i said koala was hosting was it shell challenge no it was a collab and one of the builders in that did like this really cool mirror set up behind the bed and i was like "Ooh, i'm gonna steal that so i did and you just saw it i just stole it because I really liked it. I thought that was cool. <laughs> so I did it. But you know, that's that's how it works when you're um, in the sort of the Sims 4 building community, you sort of see someone do something and you're like, ooh, that's a good idea. And you just kind of adapt it in your own way. Um, you know, because ideas have to start somewhere. And I think we sort of all evolve them or, um, you know, pick things up from different places and stuff over, you know, watching content and stuff. And that's, you know, a really good reason to watch more content is you get sort of all sorts of different ideas and because we all think in different ways and we all come up with yeah different things and different ways of doing things so it's actually quite cool to to see how other people do it as well and that's i think that's what i found so interesting when i did first start watching because i only started watching sims for content probably a couple of years ago because I think my well, my best friend in real life, she was the one that actually got me into back into Sims. Because I initially played Sims 1. And I went quite hard on that. I played a little Sims 2, but not, not much. Not enough to get the expansions. I didn't play Sims 3. And then my uh, in real life bestie, she got me back into Sims 4. Because she was talking about it. And she's like, you know, you should play it and stuff. So I got the base game. And this is back in the days when base game cost money. <laughs> she says bitterly. No, um so i tried the base game i think i got a bundle so i got base game uh oh gosh what did i get i think i got maybe vampires city living uh something like that anyway uh so i sort of played it a bit and i actually didn't really know anything about building at the time and yeah just did like a whole lot of gameplay you know where you just sort of play one sim you don't do legacy you didn't know i didn't know about legacies or anything like that just sort of turtled around playing with aspirations just like eh, that's all right and then she was talking about watching sims on youtube and i was like what <laughs> so i was like okay and then i started started watching you know the classics like you know deligracy and little simsy and I was like, ooh, building's interesting. So that's kind of like, and I was actually on holiday at the time. So I didn't have a lot to do. So I was just watching a lot of building videos and Sims videos. And I was just like, oh, ooh, building just like, building just spoke to me. I was like, oh, I love building. I want to try building. Because I, I mean, other than doing boxes with sometimes a roof on it, sometimes not. <laughs> I didn't really I didn't really do anything in the way of building or anything like that. Just, I don't know what I was doing in The Sims, but it wasn't much of anything. No wonder I was getting like bored with it, because I'd just like play with a sim for like a few hours and do an aspiration and be like, eh. <laughs> and yeah, so I can sort of get it when, when people say sims are boring. Um I get why. It's because you're not playing it in a in a way that I guess provides depth to the game and i was a very sort of um for lack of a better term a shallow sims player in the sense that i didn't really dig deeply into the game and you know how to play the game and i'm sure there's a lot of really casual sims players who will just sort of pick it up for a couple of the, couple of days uh play a character until they die and then they'll just go on and play like a different game 
Um, and that was very much me back when I was sort of just first getting into Sims. I'd sort of work through uh, like an aspiration and or a job or something like that. And then that'd be all basically I'd do. Or maybe I'd try and collect things. But yeah, I didn't know about like rags to riches. I didn't know about legacy challenges. I didn't know about uh, doing really good builds <laughs> where it took time. So, you know, it's just one of those things where you just sort of discover it and then you're like, whoa, I really like that. So, you know, that's from where I started building and my building journey began because I it just started with watching uh, builds on YouTube and I was just like, oh, I wonder if I could do that. Turns out I can. <laughs> long story short so we've actually done a lot of building in the time that i would took to took, took to tell that story so we are now downstairs in the kitchen so i'm going uh, quite light and bright in the kitchen and then i came up with like a really cool idea for the middle here so what i'm doing is i'm just doing like a little half wall um and uh, i'm gonna actually end up deleting that but i'm attaching a shelf to that so i'm just going to shrink it down one and this is from for rent and then I'm putting like the rubbish bins under there. I just thought that was like, you know, a cool little something different in the middle of, <laughs> of the of the cat of the kitchen and, and stuff. And you know, just add a little something something. I probably didn't need the wall in there, but I think it was easier just to place the uh, shelf against it initially. So that's the kitchen just about come together. I thought that was quite a neat little feature there. And I also really like the kitchen island. Um, just you know it's just one of those little practical things where you can do a little bit of extra cooking on there too and then I'm just doing one last cabinet there and a plant just to finish off that kitchen area and then that moves us over to the dining area so I kept it pretty simple I think I'm using the dream home decorator uh, table and chairs I'm using the growing together shelving and uh, dream home decorator mat because I was doing like touches of blue with that because I think also blues work really nicely with that uh with that coloring as well so like a nice mm, muted blue is probably the best way of, way to put it although i think most shades of blue not a navy you like you don't want to go too dark because then it'll be too dark if you know what i mean because if you're already using black going with a navy as well is just it's a bit it's a lot but if you're going with this as a lighter blue or a shade of a lighter blue i think that is a really nice contrast and uh sort of you know a little bit a little bit of a brightener a lightener to the room along with the white so uh that's the city living rug i do like that rug it's it's second it's one of my favorite rugs uh behind industrial loft kit which is the bestest of the rugs so i'm doing something a little bit different with this entrance area i actually really liked this entrance area that i did because i ended up using a divider which other than the odd time I use a divider in the bathroom, I don't often use the dividers. So yeah, it was quite quite fun actually coming up with a way to use that little divider and doing something a little different, as you do. And I'm just working on the TV area because this is kind of like you walk into the house and you go straight into the living room. Because uh, it's kind of like this is the living room area and there's like another seating area and then you've got the dining and the kitchen So there wasn't like a super dedicated entrance area or such it's kind of entrance area into the living area Kind of thing, but I you know what? Sometimes that happens in houses And I'm just using the dream home decorator seating. I wasn't happy with that layout So I'm just <laughs> just changing that a little bit as you do and then i'm bringing through a, a little bit of the blue that we used in the kitchen as well so that same blue just to you know add a little bit of consistency on the bottom level i don't think i used so much of the blue in the other levels but on the on the bottom level i definitely used um touches of that blue and i will quite often do that like have um, different colors on the different levels so you can see the little divider there just using uh, i think that must be a dream home decorated chair with the book nook end table and I think we are getting close to done. I think I'm just going to need a rug and a coffee table. And then I think we are about done with our build. Isn't that amazing? Came together really nicely. Um, I love sort of the modern dark luxe vibe of it. <laughs> so this is our outside. So it's this is how it sort of all came together. So we've got plenty of greenery, and that's um, I, you know, I think that looks really nice against the brick as well. So using a lot of the patio stuff pack items 
throughout the outside of the build and just going really monochrome with the black and white furnishings I didn't really go any other color on the outside because I felt like the brick in the green of the greenery <laughs> actually added enough color so I didn't really need to add anything else to that to bring that to life because I mean there's, there's a lot of color there, there's a lot of brightness and obviously we've got a little bit of yellow in the flowers as well so yeah that's all I needed I think and I really like our little carport that's cute and then moving on to the inside this is our living area so this is the area that we did last uh, and, and sort of like entrance slash living area with our big TV nice and cozy and lots of color and I added like little yellow flowers because I thought that worked really nicely and this is our laundry space slash bathroom in the downstairs area because I wanted to have a laundry in there it's a practical thing to have in a in a home and it's something that I quite often forget so <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I had a, like a little laundry in there and we did have space for it so why not and then this is our kitchen area here which I really like I think this is modern and open and fresh feeling and vibrant and uh, yeah I had a couple of different touches there as well which I really liked so this is the first of the two bedrooms so this is the white bedroom with uh, little bits of contrast black and then moving into the black bedroom with contrast white so there we go and it all looks really good against the brick which brings in the color to the room and then moving on to the first bathroom on the second floor so this is the smaller of the two bathrooms and then moving uh, through to the living area so you can see so you've got a games table a couple of couches nice and cozy and then the larger of the two bathrooms with the corner tub so that's that and how that turned out there and then moving upstairs that's our little fireplace in our hobby room on the third floor which i think is super cute and yeah nice little study place art place thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next one bye bye